Oh, there's so much laundry to do today. Nap and I'm just changing Good morning. We are up, but we've been up for a while. The kids just finished up breakfast. I just finished my coffee. They're playing. Yeah. So now I'm gonna get myself some food and start our day. Yeah. light and sweet. I always crave sweet stuff in the morning. Um, but instead of having like a donut, yogurt usually hits the spot with a little bit of maple syrup. I add about a teaspoon of maple syrup. So Cheyenne took off down the hallway and I want to know what she's doing because she's been down there for a while and it's very quiet. Let's see. Okay, tell me what you were doing in here. I, I was making my bed. Oh, can you show me what you did? Looks good. I like it. I feel like everybody has a least favorite part of the laundry. Like, my mom's always saying that she can't stand putting laundry away. You know, so people don't like to load the washing machine, unload it. Um, but I can't stand folding laundry. This basket's been here like almost a week. My mom, thank you mom, folded the laundry and I just haven't put it away. I don't know why, because I don't mind putting it away, but folding it is hard for me. I have two more loads of laundry. But, you know, I, I read this thing, I'm sure a lot of you have read it too or seen that, seen it. It says to be thankful for dirty laundry because it means you have clothes. So I just try to keep that in mind. Whenever I feel myself feeling frustrated that we have a lot of laundry, I just try to keep in mind, hey, at least we have clothes. And a washing machine, because I could be washing it by hand. just got this okay to wake clock for the kids have you guys ever used one of these it it glows let's see it turns on like that but then the whole thing will glow green when it's time for the kids to wake up it's really cute but they're still learning how to use it right guys yeah so when it we set it to turn green at 7 a.m. and that's when they can come out of their rooms because usually, or every once in a while, they'd wake up early and they'd look at books and play with each other. But man, when they wake up at 6 a.m. and come barreling into our room, it's like, that's hard. That's a hard way to start your day. So we said, okay, when the light turns green, you guys can come out. And today, Cheyenne came out at, I think around 6.45. And then did you wait for the light to turn green? Yes. Yes, and then you could come out, right? Yes. Yeah. And what did you and Trace do while you were waiting? Wait for Mama yeah. to come get you. Did you guys look at books? Yeah. Yeah. But so I did. I didn't look at books. You didn't look at books. No, but not Trace. He he was saying, sister, sister, Mama, Mama, sister, sister, Mama, Mama. Um. Hi. Did you look at books in bed with sister? I always take these dust, jacket, dust jackets off of the kids' books because they end up just getting torn and I'll put them away up high on their shelf. That way they don't get all torn up. 
and they can just look at the book on its own without it. Does anyone else do that? Or do you end up just throwing them away? I thought about just throwing them away, but sometimes the book doesn't have a title on the cover, so I figured we'll just keep the dust jacket and then when they're older, we can put it back on. Oh, there's so much laundry to do today. There's all of that, all of that, and then that to fold. What do you do to like make laundry go, you know, more enjoyable? You listen to music, do you have any tricks? I know my mother-in-law has said that when she had three kids, it felt like the laundry just exploded. It just got out of hand. So, does anyone else feel that way? Once you have three kids, the laundry's just out of control. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so I just walked into the office because I keep my clothes in the closet in here. I almost like jumped out of my skin. I, at the corner of my eye, in Wyatt's baby swing, I saw a little baby and I was like, oh, who put a baby in here? I thought it was a real one, but somebody put their doll baby in there. Did you do that? Uh-huh. <laughs> it was just like this quick moment where I was like, where did that baby come from? The man's looking pretty gross. I'm gonna come in here and get the little hand vacuum and vacuum some stuff up. The car seats honestly were starting to stink. Like, it was getting nasty. Ah. Um, so I'm gonna vacuum it out. I try to stay on top of the messes in there and like throw trash out, clean it up. The kids don't even eat that much in the van. It just gets out of hand. So I'm gonna try to clean it up. It's not gonna be like a thorough, you know, detail job or anything, but it's gonna make it look nicer. Definitely not a deep clean, but it's an improvement. I'll show you the after. Less dust, car seats vacuumed. I mean, they're still stained, but got most of the crumbs out of there. This is just wet from me scrubbing them out. That's the bottom. See, I need to shampoo the rugs right there. But I've got my baby carrier and sun hat sun visor and these are the things I just need to take inside much better though I never thought I would own a minivan I always Michael and I always talked about when we had more kids that we would buy like an SUV you know like a large SUV because um, we used to have a Subaru Forester so that SUV was pretty nice but still you cannot fit comfortably fit three kids in there I mean you can with certain car seats but we just didn't want to buy all new car seats um, so anyway, I never thought I would own a minivan, and we always said, oh, we'll buy like a Suburban or a Tahoe or something. But once we test tried it, try, once we test drove a minivan, I think it changed our minds. We were like, okay, this is awesome. The kids don't have to be lifted into their car seats, and everything fits. It has a lot of cargo space. And I'm sure as the kids get older, you know, and they can actually crawl into the car by themselves and into their own car seats, you know, maybe we will get a big SUV because our van um, obviously isn't going to last forever. But for right now, the van's awesome. We're back inside now after cleaning the van. The kids played outside for a bit. And now they're going to go down for their nap and I'm just changing my diaper. I'll probably get some lunch in while they nap. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Your daily dose of Wyatt. Your daily Wyatt. dose of Mr. Wyatt. You. <laughs> Look at his chin. He has like a little neck beard. <laughs> Look at those chins, yeah. I made this changing pad when I was pregnant with Cheyenne. 
back when I had more patience. Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. Oh, you love it too? But it's just so crazy. Now, look, it has a pocket right here. I changed my third baby on it. Crazy. <laughs> I just got the kids to bed for their nap right now, so I'm making myself a sandwich. I'm like in one of those moods where nothing really sounds that good to me. Trace is yelling in his bed. He's okay, he's just upset. Putting the kids to bed is like, I don't know. I feel like it's a hostage, it's a hostage situation. I have to like say the right words, don't say the wrong thing. Like, yes, you can play with your toys when you wake up. Yes, you can eat that snack. No, I'm, you know, we're not gonna do that. Here's the right toy you want in your bed with you. It's like stressful. If I say the wrong thing, give them the wrong toy, then forget it. They're upset and don't want to take their nap. Right now, Trace is just yelling because he's tired. He's sleepy. Plus, it's hard. They share a room, which like 99% of the time is awesome. But that 1%, it's hard because Cheyenne's like at, at that age where she can lay down and nap and be quiet, you know, and look at some books. But Trace isn't. And so he ends up wanting to play because he sees his sister looking at books. And he ends up, you know, not napping. So it's hard. But like I said, 99% of the time, they're good and they're together and they'll play and talk before they fall asleep. Say hello. He's like, what is that? Hello. Hello, can you say hello, Wyatt? Hello. Hello, Wyatt. Michael's home now and the kids or Cheyenne made a little present for him. What did you make for Dada? Um, a necklace. A necklace? Uh-uh. It's always nice. It's very nice. Well, that is going to be it for tonight. It's a little past 10 and I usually stay up late to get some time to myself just to relax and take care of a few things, but I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe so that you guys can see more. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you get updates when we post a new video. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see, if there's something you want to see more of or anything you enjoyed. I'd love to hear. Have a good night. Bye.